Nutritional Deficiencies in CKD, a Hidden Barrier to Health Have you ever wondered how much of an impact nutrition has on kidney health? What role do vitamins play in managing chronic kidney disease, CKD? Could addressing nutritional deficiencies be the key to slowing or even reversing kidney damage? It's a little-known fact, but a staggering 80% of individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD, suffer from at least one nutritional deficiency. These deficiencies can include crucial vitamins and minerals, such as potassium, vitamin D, vitamin B12, and folic acid. This lack of key nutrients can lead to rapid disease progression and a variety of complications like muscle cramps, anemia, high blood pressure, and fatigue. For many patients, the focus is often placed on controlling potassium or phosphorus levels, but the vital role that vitamins play in maintaining kidney health is frequently overlooked. In reality, Addressing vitamin and mineral deficiencies could mean the difference between needing dialysis and reversing kidney damage. In today's discussion, let's highlight some of the most common nutritional deficiencies found in CKD patients and how addressing them can significantly improve health outcomes. From potassium to B vitamins and vitamin D, the importance of these nutrients cannot be understated. With proper monitoring, testing, and supplementation, CKD patients can manage their condition more effectively improve their quality of life, and potentially avoid dialysis altogether. Potassium deficiency. In CKD, a balancing act. One of the most overlooked deficiencies in CKD patients is potassium, despite affecting up to 25% of individuals with the condition. You've probably heard the common advice that CKD patients need to avoid potassium-rich foods like bananas, avocados, and potatoes. This is often because many CKD patients struggle with high potassium levels, a condition known as hyperkalemia, which can cause serious complications such as heart arrhythmias. However, there is another side to the potassium story that is frequently missed. Low potassium levels or hypokalemia, which can be equally harmful. For CKD patients with low potassium levels, avoiding potassium-rich foods may exacerbate the problem, leading to dangerous health issues such as high blood pressure, muscle weakness, and further kidney damage. Potassium is an essential electrolyte that plays a crucial role in muscle contraction, nerve function, and fluid balance. Without enough potassium, the body struggles to maintain these functions, which can accelerate kidney decline. Regularly testing potassium levels is therefore critical for CKD patients, and it is equally important to avoid unnecessary dietary restrictions unless absolutely necessary. Rather than eliminating potassium-rich foods altogether, the key is finding the right balance. For CKD patients with low potassium, a more tailored approach to diet can help manage potassium levels without causing harm. This might include reintroducing potassium-rich foods in controlled amounts, or, in some cases, supplementing potassium under a doctor's supervision. Managing potassium levels with a balanced diet and proper monitoring can help prevent the serious consequences of both high and low potassium, giving CKD patients a better chance at preserving kidney function and overall health. Vitamin B12. Preventing anemia and fatigue. Another critical nutrient for CKD patients is vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin. This water-soluble vitamin is essential for producing red blood cells and preventing anemia, a condition that is all too common in CKD patients. Anemia occurs when the body does not produce enough red blood cells, leading to symptoms such as fatigue, shortness of breath, and weakness. For CKD patients, anemia can be particularly problematic as it places additional strain on the kidneys and can worsen the progression of the disease. What many people don't realize is that vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal products such as meat, eggs, and dairy. As a result, individuals on plant-based diets, which are often recommended for CKD patients, may be at a higher risk of B12 deficiency. While plant-based diets are generally low in sodium, phosphorus, and potassium, nutrients that can be harmful in excess for CKD patients, they may not provide enough vitamin B12 to meet the body's needs. Without sufficient B12, CKD patients are more likely to experience the symptoms of anemia, which can further weaken kidney function over time. Fortunately, vitamin B12 deficiency is relatively easy to correct. A simple B12 supplement can prevent or reverse anemia and may even improve overall kidney function. It's essential for CKD patients, especially those on plant-based diets, 
to get their B12 levels tested regularly and start supplementing if necessary. For some patients, addressing a B12 deficiency could mean the difference between managing their CKD and facing the need for dialysis, vitamin D, strengthening bones and protecting kidneys. Next up is vitamin D, one of the most important vitamins for CKD patients. Vitamin D plays a critical role in regulating calcium, phosphorus, and parathyroid hormone, PTH levels, all of which are essential for maintaining healthy kidney function. Calcium and phosphorus are minerals that work together to build strong bones, while PTH helps regulate their levels in the blood. In CKD patients, these minerals can become imbalanced, leading to weakened bones, an increased risk of fractures, and faster kidney decline. Vitamin D deficiency is incredibly common among CKD patients, with studies showing that up to 80% of individuals with CKD are affected. This is because the kidneys are responsible for converting vitamin D into its active form, calcitriol, which helps the body absorb calcium and phosphorus from food. As kidney function declines, so does the ability to produce active vitamin D, leading to a deficiency. Without enough vitamin D, CKD patients are more likely to develop a condition called secondary hyperparathyroidism, where the parathyroid glands produce too much PTH in response to low calcium levels. This condition can cause significant bone loss and further damage to the kidneys. Supplementing with vitamin D, especially in the form of prescription vitamin D analogs like calcitriol or paracalcidol, can drastically improve outcomes for CKD patients. These analogs are designed to mimic the active form of vitamin D and help regulate calcium, phosphorus, and PTH levels. It's recommended that all CKD patients get their vitamin D levels tested regularly and start supplementing if needed. By addressing vitamin D deficiency, CKD patients can strengthen their bones, reduce the risk of fractures, and slow the progression of kidney disease. Folic acid, vitamin B9, and vitamin B6. Slowing disease progression. In addition to vitamin B12, other B vitamins like folic acid, vitamin B9, and vitamin B6 are essential for CKD patients. Folic acid is crucial for DNA synthesis and repair, making it vital for the proper functioning of kidney cells. Meanwhile, vitamin B6 is involved in protein metabolism and the production of neurotransmitters. Deficiencies in either of these vitamins can accelerate the progression of kidney disease and contribute to complications like anemia and high homocysteine levels, which increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, a common comorbidity in CKD patients. Many CKD patients take medications like ACE inhibitors or ARBs, which are used to manage blood pressure and reduce proteinuria, excess protein in the urine. While these medications are beneficial for slowing kidney decline, they can also deplete folic acid levels. This is why it's essential for CKD patients to monitor their folic acid and vitamin B6 levels and supplement if necessary. By ensuring adequate intake of these vitamins, CKD patients can help protect their kidneys, reduce the risk of cardiovascular complications, and slow the progression of the disease. Conclusion The importance of addressing nutritional deficiencies. In CKD, Nutritional deficiencies are often overlooked in CKD treatment plans, but they play a significant role in disease progression. By addressing deficiencies in potassium, vitamin B12, vitamin D, folic acid, and vitamin B6 through regular testing and supplementation, CKD patients can improve their glomerular filtration rate, GFR, reduce symptoms, and prevent the need for dialysis. A proactive approach to managing these deficiencies can make all the difference in managing CKD effectively. With the right steps, up to 80% of CKD patients may be able to improve their kidney function, lead healthier lives, and reduce their reliance on medications and treatments. As you continue your journey in managing CKD, make sure to consult with your healthcare provider about testing for these critical nutrients. Taking the initiative to correct deficiencies today could mean a better, healthier tomorrow. Regular monitoring and personalized nutrition are the keys to preserving kidney function and enhancing overall well-being for CKD patients. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.